Yes. Good morning to all the new audience. Basically, I've designed this presentation especially for beginners who are very much interested about robotics, especially AI robotics, artificial intelligence robotics, and bipedal robot. My more mostly focus will on bipedal robot and AI robots. Basically, I will introduce with the some basic robots which are available. After that, I will move how you will design the bipedal robot. Basic technology will not give you much hardware details and things. Will demonstrate you some already developed robots, bipedal robots, and how artificial intelligence they are exhibiting. How will produce or mimic the human behavior. If you are talking about AI, it's simply you are mimicking or trying to develop the something which can work on behalf of human being with similar intelligence. So AI, many people has given different different definitions. So we will not go in the depth of AI. And later on, I will uh, tell you how you will design using data driven computational model, which I will refer hybrid automata for uh, required of development of bipedal model and to simulate uh, the bipedal walk which can utilize by any kind of robot which should be very generic everybody can use so it should be hardware independence so myself Dr. Vijay Vastasan and first I would like to welcome you all and I'm especially talking on behalf of international advisory of our Japan, Bangladesh Robotics and Advanced Technology Research Center, Tibet, serving as an international advisor. So my motivation is to give you very basic of bipedal technology and AI robots so that young aspirant can get motivated and start their work in this direction. So this will be not much technical kind of things. So these are the outlines which I'm not going to cover. First, I will start with the introduction. Why I'm interested for bipedal first. What is bipedal? The bipedal is the structure which is very similar to human being, which has two limbs. And with the help of two limbs, the model or any machine which is walking, which has similar degree of freedom like human being, human being totally 25 degree of freedom. So similarly, we are trying to develop the machines which have this much of degree of freedom, which can walk like human being very efficiently. Human walk is, uh, is a grace of God. It's very efficient. It's very adaptable. Human being can perform different kind of walk, brisk walk, slow walk, running and jumping and many activities human being can do. So this is one motivation by battle because we have developed our infrastructure like buildings, railings, all staircase for bipedal human being. So if we will develop the machine which has similar capability like human being, we will able to utilize these kind of floors. Otherwise, it will be very costly. Second mo mo motivation is that human walk, I already referred that it is very adaptable, scalable and different different scenario you can change and these things. So this is the motivation we are waterfall or animal is finding difficult it is very difficult to jump any canal by the cow or any four leg animal where human being can very efficiently can manage with the help of two limbs left and right legs so generally human walk is very important and we will understand in the different different sense uh, which we refer g a i t k to also human walk and why it is important to understand and we'll try to how to simulate the human walk so that robot can utilize. So the first motivation is that human being used to some task repetitively, which is very boring also. If I will do activity from morning to evening, similar activities like I'm in the banking counter, I'm taking all the monies and counting all things, all sort of things repeatedly, I, mean, I will get irritated and will get tired also. In this case, if robot will be there, robot will never get tired and so we can replace the robot here and ro even human being can take some sort of breaks, tea break and some kind of things which will be really time consuming and wastage of resource. In this case, if robot will place there, robot will help us 
with more efficiency. And I will refer here 4D. 4D, as I mentioned in PPT, 4D is dull, dirty, dangerous, and difficult. Dull is the task uh, which is not very productive, not very intellectual. Human being is designed in such a way that he or she can use his own intelligence for unknown environment. Till we will not exhibit our intelligence for unknown environment, non environment we used to learn. And we have our brain from where we used to learn some behavior like human baby used to learn. And if you see that human baby used to walk almost, learn walking almost one year or two years it will take. So we are the laziest person in the world who is taking uh, two years to learn only for walking. If you compare with four, well, uh, four like animal like elephant and someone else, uh, the baby can start walking within some hours, six hours, seven hours. So only thing is that human body is little bit unstable. Our head is little bit heavy compared to the bone. So it used to take to develop the muscles to support the, this weight of body. So that's why we used to take. And it has different capability like uh, the people from South Africa, other region, the people are very uh, strong and they are learning very fast walking. Their baby are learning very fast walking compared to other uh, region of peoples. So dull task, I told that repetitively task, which robot can perform better than. Dangerous mining industry there, coal mining industry there, where it might be possible that any time can be fire can be there, any hazardous situation can occur there, any harmful gas can come there. So it will uh, very dangerous for human being for health as well as for life also. It is life threatening thing. So if we will deploy the robot there, which is self-sustainable, which, which has the basic uh, capability like human being. So this is another motivation of um, looking for machine similar to human being. Dirty and dangerous, uh, these are the environments, dangerous already I told, if we are going for a bomb diff diffusion, in this case it might be possible that bomb will expo exploit it there and it will lead the life also. So in this case, you can use some machine, which will not cause of the uh, life of any human being. Space, space exploration, if you are sending for some machine there, which can explore the things, we can utilize all the things in the space. And so such kind of robots are motivation for bipedal things. Human being has very good capability. We can walk with the simple terrain, normal terrains. We can climb staircase very efficiently. We can walk over different, different kind of terrain. So a little bit I will cover how human being used to learn this way. It is a reflexive behavior. Reflexive behavior is kind of behavior which we have learned through continuous interaction with the environment. Once we have acquired this behavior, so next time we will not use our own brain or anything that time the acquired behavior with the some associated memory which is pattern already I have learned and pattern is remember in my mind and that pattern I'm utilizing to mimic or produce or stimulate the behavior the situation I can like you take the fire fire initially if I'm not aware of fire I will put my hand is there but once I'm aware of this one I will not put my hand there because the behavior pattern I have acquired I'm scared of this, this can be dangerous thing for me. And uh, the study of bipedal will further helpful for uh, medical fields, uh, provide the assistance of elderly people who cannot climb the staircase after 60 and human walk is very uh, evolutionary process. We used to learn in the childhood and it's grow with the age and it's decay with the age and different people had different capability of um, walking also. Athletes are very good and they have very efficient walking style as well as another behavior which I am not uh, exploring here, push recovery. Push recovery is the kind of capability in which we, we are able to recover from any external force which are applying on our human bodies. We can recover up to certain extent with bounded force we can do. So if this capability will also have the bipedal robot, then the robot will perfect to deploy in the hostile environment where there is no need of human intervention uh, 
and even though the woman is not there then also it can work perfectly so final portion i will cover about what is hybrid automata and how you design through computational models so this is i will also first let me give you motivation so you can see that the state of art robots some ZMP based robots, force placement capability based robots, passive robots, and all things as different benefits. You will see that there is a ZMP zero moment point. In this case, what is happening? We are calculating zero moment point where all the reactant force are there. There is no torque, and then we are placing our put there. So this is little bit not realistic things. In the real time, you will not uh, work this way. Then passive worker. is the last one which you can see that highly energy efficient but the problem is that they don't have uh, the agility like human being they don't have the knee only they are working with the help of gravity and some force f so this is also not perfect representation of uh, human being as robot put placement agility where we are trying to give the joint agility to move the robots and hybrid zero dynamics where we are considering the zero dynamics robots so those human walk is uh, dynamic uh, hybrid kind of things it is uh, perfectly represent by the hybrid automata which i will explain later so let me give some uh, overview of how agility is and human being has 25 degree of freedom as i told so very agile system and in as if sent you see that uh, in term of agility it's increasing and in as if sent highly in as if sent in a, is the person who is at the top of this one here some robots i have represented if you will see passive worker which is at very less agility but high in as if sent so and if you see big dog that is high energy high agility big dog have but very less in as if sent so we are looking for such robot which is going for all these three dimensions and versatility is there energy efficiency is there robustness is there so you can see small small demo of some ai robots or some advanced robot of this one big dog boston dynamics had developed this robots is kind of safe which can help you to carry luggage on the hostile environments to army people and this one. so now you can see very advanced kind of robot it can walk in any kind of terrain is not biped but it's a quadruped robot so it's moving 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 you can see it has some it will move in all sort of you can see that the person it is walking and it's self sustainable even though we have applied some external force and the boston dynamics have developed you can see that it is able to recover it it is walking the Ice, is no uh, able to recover. Very, very, very advanced robots. So this is called Big Dog. Very famous robot in study of robotics. We used to especially learn about this one. Then another is Atlas. It is again very advanced kind of robots and developed by Sam Boston Dynamics. So it has many capability. It has. object recognition capability detection it is opening the door we are identifying the door where we can do generating the tragedy efficient tragedy is required which path is there calculating dynamics again you can say they have flat foot and bending knee they are not standing like human being states because singularity configuration so it's walking also you can see that very good capability it is walking something it is motivation now it is grasping the object So it has capability to recognize, and even those, it is not like we have generated tragedy, we have given tragedy. It has capability. It is calculating again, identifying objects, again picking the objects through cameras, and generating new tragedies, and up to different different weight is holding. the university it is following that particular object now suppose robot we have the person has applied force and now 
it will automatically recover from this force. So this kind of capability we are expecting for any sort of program. So very advanced robot. Let us go for one more category of robot. This is now robot. Uh, it's very not that much efficient like this, but it is playing some game tic tac toe game, which is very good problem in the artificial problem solving or artificial intelligence. You used to solve the problem using some heuristic function you can use or simple simple blind sets by which you can solve some AI problems like tic tac toe is there. Uh, they have two players can play, so binary system is the one. Is now robot, another is human agent. We refer robot agent and human agents in the AI. So you can use slow uh, breath versus death versus best for such heuristic search will help you to find your optimal solution. So, yes. so they are placing one is making dot, another is making. So if you're able to place all the dot, either diagonal or column and row, you'll be able to win, which most probably people are playing in the uh, AI solving in the artificial intelligence problem solving uh, approach when you are trying to search the solution using a status space representation, you can make the representation. So you will be able to win only once you will place that dot in row but in this case the battle is almost they have tied because they are unable to place within a row all the arrow so this is one robot then i am going for soccer playing robot which is honda asimo robots it is a bit good robot On our world, so you see how good they have designed, how sophisticated they have designed. So it can be deployed in the hospitality industry to serve the people. I think it's a so basic capability of walking, uh, gesture recognition. So far, we are missing with emotion intelligence, but uh, we'll go for Sophia. So it's AI in it. So AI you can produce in term of natural language processing, computer vision techniques. The robot can see, identify your gestures. Robot can talk with you. Any sort of mechanism by which you can uh, unable to distinguish between machine and human being. That kind of machine will consider as AI running. It's, now it's started running. It can serve you drink, food and something. Now doing some basic exercise jogging. So basic the input is sensor like we have eyes, nose, different different kind of sensor, sense sensor. Then actuator is there which will actuate the like our muscles is used to actuate and produce the uh, required torque and force to carry anything. Similarly. The basic thing is that to design any machine, to model any machine, you require input which will take through the sensor, whether it is tactile sensor, whether it is your camera or a core sensor, pressure sensor or kind of sensor. Then you will perform some basic computation, which is again, uh, AI is coming in the picture. Okay, and then we'll exhibit the behavior. Many times you will learn in the real time by playing the something like chatbot start uh, chatting with two chat borders, I think, but they started generating their own language. That means reinforcement kind of learning where they have learned their own behavior. They have generated something. So dancing, they're serving now food and something, beverage and other things. So this is motivation for, for you small guys. And now this is first year robot which is talking and which is basically using nature language processing. By which you are able to reply the answer, the person will integrate him. You can see. Hi there. Everything is going extremely well. Do you like talking with me? Yes. Talking to people is my primary function. 
this uh, has capability. You can find it easily on the internet. For human robot interactions. We're designing these robots to serve in healthcare, therapy, education, and customer service applications. The robots are and the environment. I feel so like person I'm is integrating the Sophia and Sophia is an ambassador who helps humans basically see searching on the internet most of all the new like technological that. tools and possibilities that are available now. It's a good opportunity for me to learn a lot about people. Sophia is capable of natural facial expression. She has cameras in her she eyes some uh, and some algorithms which allow her to see smiling. faces. So she can make eye contact with you. And she can also understand of speech and remember all is that all kind of pieces. Mimic. I, 20 years from now, I believe you can find another video so in which you will see how she is responding, the answer, how she is searching the nature language procedures. So let us go how to model the bipedal locomotion, bipedal machine, bipedal robot. So basically we require some uh, walking mechanism like human being. So we'll, how we'll generate this stage is this I will describe here. So generally there is some difficulty so far. Developed robots, they have flat foot, bending knee and we are concerning uh, the robots which are working now. It's working in the unconstant environment also. We are looking and we are considering the kinematic models which require very precise uh, kind of parameters we have to see what is structure friction and all these sort of things is required when you are designing the mechanical model okay. so you cannot perfectly design the things that's why uh, you are finding little bit difficulties and we are considering it is a full actuated system though it is not fully actuated system so the solution we have Propose one solution which is computational model using hybrid automata trajectory, which will generate the trajectory uh, on giving the input of particular parameter of particular human being, like thigh length or sing length. It will generate the trajectory because human walk is the manifestation of change in the joint angle of left hip, right hip, left knee, right knee, left ankle, right ankle. So, if you're able to give this trajectory, if trajectory is stable, and trajectory will help us to move the robot so basic motivation is there so first before going for this one you understand what is different type of anatomical plans of human beings you can see that you can visualize the human walk from the sagittal plane if you are seeing from front this is called corner plane and frontal plane another is traverse plane when you are dividing whole very from the your west in too far that is also not also required sagittal plane when you are dividing your entire body into two parts and then the, you can see the similar figure in the other sense. This is, you can see, hip movement, skeleton is there. So, your skeleton, you are getting some pattern, which is like, repetitively pattern is there. And you can see that it is like inverted pendulum. So, the literature has shown that the human walk is combination, is the time series data, which human healthy person can complete within one second also. Okay. Not one second, it will take some more time to finish this. Step. So basically, divide into eight phases in its loading response, mid stance, terminal stance, placing, initial swing, mid swing, and terminal swing. Uh, those it is non linear almost, so we have divided into small, small portion. It's time series, it's divided like one complete gate cycle, which is basically three steps when you are placing your foot on the ground and again, same foot are on coming in the ground. During this, you are exhibiting double support wave, single support wave. Double support wave when both foot are on ground, one foot is in the air. When this is single support wave, when one foot is in the air, this is called swing phase also. The swing phase when you are placing one foot on the air, uh, ground, another foot is in the air, and another step you place the foot which was in the air on the ground, and another foot will be in the air. So you are shifting your base to balance the body and moving ahead. So loading response 0 to 12 percent, 12 to 30 percent you will execute mid stance and things. So. so basically broadly you will press by swing phase stance phase, okay, which I am going to go to here. You can see the foot translation of left and right foot. So very few times you will find the double support page. DSS is standing for double support page. So you will see that when one foot is in the air, another is the, in the ground. So that's why you find when there is one uh, 
let us assume left foot has straight rigidity, right foot is little bit is in the ear. So that's why you are finding the spike in the signal rigidity. So left foot support, right foot support, and double support page and single support page when both foot are on ground. When one foot is in the ear, another in the ground, that is double support page, and you will find only 12% of anti cycle in the double support page. So this is what we have. Uh, Try to simulate the model. Can we? This is rocking block model to generate the hybrid automata parameter. Uh, we have uh, generated the human walk using hybrid automata. We have designed it's like as a um, widely using the civil engineering hybrid automata. Even you have seen the temple, there is storm on the head of the temple and it is never attached with the temple, but it is never firing with the high intensity of particle because it is uh, stable to and from motion of its center of mass. So all the center of mass stage it is passing through. So it is true. Human work is also we are moving ahead and back to and from for, of our center of mass. So that's why body is complex. So you can say that how you, you can first collect the data of different different sample. So we have design one. So, which is uh, simply we are using accelerometer to capture the human being data. Accelerometer actually, this is yes. This this is for uh, we have placed this mobile which has accelerometer on the foot, and then we are able to capture. You can see the accelerometer either you can place here in the pocket or you can place here. So you have to produce like two link manipulator so the inverse kinematic get this joint angle through accelerometer. The accelerometer will return the acceleration though there is quite possible that there is, will be noise but you have to do some pre-processing, some targeting techniques, some uh, data driven techniques you will apply in which you will try to minimize or reduce this. So physics tool by accelerometer already app available uh, by software someone has developed which we have cited in our work later and uh, by this you can capture the signal of all six joints so accelerometer you will get it will automatically convert into xy otherwise you can take two uh, integration and you will get from accelerometer to simple coordinate once we have xy coordinate you can solve inverse kinematic and inverse kinematic you can get theta on theta two those we are we are not considering the any force and there is another technique also that is called HMCD, Human Motion Capture Device. Uh, in this case, we have used six sensors, all six joints, left, hip, right. Sorry, this is some different video. This is passive walker. Okay, the walking is moving. Passive walker. So, I will show that HMCD, Human Motion Capture Device. This is indigenously developed at triple IT lab, and they are using six sensors one at left hip, another at right hip, left knee, right knee, left hand. These are the servo motors which actually calibrated and giving digital count. Now the object will move and will capture, though there is wire connection later on. The enhanced version is already there. Uh, we are using wireless connection also. You can see some readings will get time series data for all the six joint I will get this one. I am a board is there by which we have removed. I will attach and we have captured this one. Basic processing of this one. So another is one is HMCD human motion capturing. Another is HLPRCD human locomotion post recovery capture device. Okay. So now we have tried to explore one more behaviors uh, using HMCD same device we have used to explore how human being used to recover from the external force. Okay, this is also we try to analyze the human nature of negotiating with us. In this case, we try to produce the human similar event and the human being as close because robot cannot see you, you cannot observe from which direction force is coming. So that's why we call it as like maybe I'm sorry to I'll show you somewhere you give me one minute I'll show you both the demo what I'm doing okay. 
can see from here. We are finding some technical mistake here to run this. Maybe I will be able to run this one. So you will be able to understand. Close eyes with lunch. in the sense we have not minded hand so in this case he can use hand movement to recover from so person is applying force with a certain magnitude from behind then presses answer to capture this behavior i can repeat again for your reference and we have not we have only closed eyes so that we cannot observe from which direction is coming otherwise we we'll get alert and we we'll take some precautionary action and we have open the eyes open hand movement is also going to so to only analyze the behavior of this one, we have used close eyes also in this kind of object has closed eyes and we are applying this human being has different post recovery. All has done the greatly, greatly the magnitude of pressure is increasing from behind. Uh, this is motivation. Now let us come on. Major contribution. This is hybrid automata. Uh, why hybrid automata is required? Actually, simple automata have only disk switching logic. Hybrid automata have continuous working. That means there is some uh, behavior which will execute during this one, which will represent any model using the system of linear equation or some differential equation. So I told that the literature was giving strong phase and swing phase. So we have extended this one, and these are the eight parameters which I will not explain depth q is the finite set of states x is the continuous variable which is evolving the times in during particular dynamics then you have non-deterministic kind of things you get the vector fields which is under the more rigid you have to select only limited rigidity within certain boundation then you have initial condition these are the tuples this is hybrid automata how different states each state are starting there is initial condition invariant condition in which you can vary there is a condition when you move from any and the beauty of this one you can start from any states you can reset all the parameters and you can move. these are again guard reset all the parameter we have these are the tragedy which we have generated through the vector fields there is uh, some sort of we'll get the tragedy for different different phases eight phases in the left hand column. first column i have mentioned all the phases and the row wise I am giving for left hip, right hip, left knee, right knee, left ankle, right ankle, time also I can see here I am not included ankle because we have not found any model which is very similar to human kind of ankles. So, this is a joint angle TGT in which we will able to exhibit and generate the TGT which will again this TGT we have compared with the different different two TGT we have taken vector field tragedy 1 and 2 which we have compared with the hope 2 robots which hope 2 robot and hybrid automata generated tragedy we have compared we are finding some pattern is if you see left hip right hip you will find 180 degree phase different in left hip pattern and right hip pattern well, left hip you will get almost sinus order right hip you get inverse of sinus similarly knee and ankle which i will explain in depth so this model which is given by the open C developed by the Stanford, there was challenge. So this is very similar to human working. There is no, no dynamics they are dancing only kinetic models. So we have applied our trajectory on this model and the robot was able to work.
so if you can see here we are unable to produce and these are the treasure trees which i will show later and these treasure trees i have compared with gate 23 model which is available in the open scene 23 degree of freedom and 54 muscles i will automate which we are doing it normal walk which we are captured through uh, directly human beings so we have compared left hip right hip left knee right hip to see that there is 180 degree phase difference in the tensity of left hip and right hip left knee right knee if you compare ankle and knee both are inversely related when ankle is big hump there is small hump in the knee when is small hump in the knee there is big hump in the ankle so if this is similar behavior once you heel is heel once your knee uh, ankle will strike on the ground that time your uh, knee joint will get locked that's why this behavior is coming so and to analyze whether this behavior is the trajectory which you have generated is stable or not so this is limit cycle curve it is something like our breathing system if it is closed loop following this one always always i will find the stable trajectory if it is crossing any one and not able to follow this cycle then it is unstable trajectory so we have generated for our all six joints it is not crossing in the 3d we have designed and they are closely following the trajectory so we can see that stable model this is to verify the model's trajectories you can do finally there is hope to model in which uh, we have applied uh, these trajectories hope to the model was able to work so better i will play from there i'm getting some problem with my video player so now you can sing easily it is walking with the trajectory which we have provided through generate hybrid automata computational model and last time i which unable to move with the open sim models in which case you can see that the model was not able to walk and it is falling abruptly but once we have given the trajectories which generated through hybrid automata equation h equation the robot was able to this model was able to work so i think this is enough uh, motivation for new students new aspirant of it and finally let me conclude from here i will show some international publications which you can refer related to this one and the computational model or using hybrid automata will provide the stability provide the genetic nature genetic nature will give them much needed scalability and many other these are our publications anyone can refer international conference and then this is thanks you can meet and call me at any time this one and in any further query i will very much happy to answer our queries so this way i will stop you